Hi guys, give me Flakeman here with some Japanese news. Now, my friend over uh, at War Moth Strat, his real name is Mully, he works at a high school, and a junior high school, and an elementary school, kind of a combination school, you know, it's got all the grades. And the other day, he got in some of these contraptions, okay? Now, these are called uh, Sasumata, Sasumata. Now, you know, sometimes I'm a little slow, so I didn't understand where this word came from exactly. <laughs> but I, after I saw the kanji, I thought, oh, of course, because Sasu means stab, and that's the way you use this thing, like stabbing motion, right? And Mata is the, um, how do I explain? Imagine these are my legs, and this is my crotch, okay? Actually, mata means crotch, okay? So I can't really show you without jumping really high, but <laughs> the, the area between my legs, it's not the groin area, it's actually this kind of um, shape of your legs, this area, this, this mata, right? Anyway, so take my word, it's, I have one. <laughs> Everyone's got one. <laughs> so sasumata is this contraption, and it comes from China originally. This is really interesting, I did a lot of research on this. I don't know all the specifics, all the words, all the, uh, you know, a lot of difficult words here, but. Uh, I'll leave links uh, to Wikipedia in the description. But uh, uh, apparently, Chinese originally used these to fend off from Japanese pirates. Isn't that cool? Like, did you even know they were Japanese pirates? I wonder what Japanese pirates look like. Are they like from One Piece? I really doubt it. But apparently, they were Japanese pirates and they used to, um, you know, ta attack Chinese ships in the old days. Like, all, oh, you know, let's not get into the Japanese versus Chinese thing. but. Anyway, the, the Chinese used these to fend them off. Now, these Sasumata were not only used for uh, fending off or attacking people, they were also used, for example, for fighting fires, to taking apart pieces of the building so to spread them out so the fire didn't spread, or to breaking it down, you know, to, to help you, or to prop up ladders when, you have, when, you have, when you're putting up a ladder against the house to, you know, to, throw to carry water up or whatever, however they put uh, fires out. Anyway, prop up the ladder so you can get up to the higher uh, floors, maybe so people can escape. I don't know. But anyway, I looked into this, and apparently in the old days there were sandogu, or three tools. Sandogu means three tools. Another one is mitsudogu. It's basically the same thing, variation, three tools. Mitsu or san, both mean three. Anyway, the three uh, sandogu, and here we are, here's a picture of the three sandogu, or the, the mitsugo. You have the tsukubo. tsukubo. Now notice that it's, it looks like a rake. Right? It looks like a rake, because originally it was used for raking. And uh, I guess there were impromptu weapons that farmers put together, according to Wikipedia. And here's something interesting. I, was, I thought, you know, it looks really cool because it's got all the black like things on it, right? But actually that's for, um, so the person that you're fighting can't grab onto it. So imagine it's pushing up against you like that, right? Um, well, at that point, you might want to, the natural thing would be grab onto it and kind of hold it again, you know, use it against the, your attacker or the person who's trying to pin you. But if it's got those black things on it, you can't grab onto it. That's pretty cool, right? The middle one here is called sode garami. Sode is sleeve and karamu is the verb. Um, that's anyway to involve something. So sode garami entangles, entangles the sleeves. Remember in the old days, Japanese wore kimono. So if you're trying to capture a bad guy, he's got, you just try to grab his sleeve because you don't want to really hurt him. You want to, uh, restrain him or ensnare him. So using the sodegarami, you could grab the sleeves and twir twirl the little sodegarami thing, the stick, that little the long stick, and this would capture his sleeves. And if you had two of them, you know, the guy would be kind of stuck, right? And then a third guy could go go in with um, another tool and, and grab him. And the third one is uh, the one that we're talking about today. The one that got this whole uh, interesting thing started is the sasumata, which they used to use over here. Now, this thing goes around your neck in the old days, right? It'll go around your neck. Uh, nowadays, the ones that we use, the ones that, that Mully shows in his video, click on the video and check it out, by the way, on his channel, um, it's called Sasumata. That one goes around your torso, right? They grab it to push you off, to push you away. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because yesterday, or was it two days ago, two days ago in Ichinomiya, which is very, in, in my, my, my prefecture where I live, they had a 62-year-old nut went to an elementary school and he was waiting there in the morning, and uh, one of the female teachers said, hey, um, what are you doing here? You know, you're kind of out of place, all these elementary school children. And then she noticed that he had a bundle, and he opened up the bundle, and he had a knife. And uh, so they immediately called the principal, and he told the other teachers, go get the sasumatas. So they had three of them. So three teachers got the sasumatas, and using the sasumatas, they kind of pinned the guy, I guess together, I would imagine, on all sides. 
it's pretty strange though. Um, the guy later told the police, "I came here to threaten the children." He was quoted as. Um, pretty strange. But here's the here, here's the other thing. You might think, uh, when would ever when would you ever use these things? But that's when that's when you know that's when you would do it when something like this happens. And apparently the teachers had been training. So the, the principal and teachers had gone through training. I guess you got to be ready for all that kind of stuff, you know. There's something weird I see that's happening in China quite a bit. Uh, I don't I don't hear about this happening in the States much, but they had a slew of people, nuts, going to elementary schools and stabbing a bunch of people. Really bizarre stuff. Now, you might think this, this kind of Satsumata thing is only an Asian thing, but I did a little research, and apparently in English it's called a man catcher, and they had them in Germany in the 16th to 16 to 1800s. But they were much more menacing looking. Check out, check out this thing here. It's called that's called a man catcher. Notice the spikes on it, and that's 320 centimeters uh, wide. So it's about it's only about that wide, right? So it's made to go right on your neck, right? And imagine if you just press the. I mean, if that thing went on my, my neck, I'd be like, okay, okay, ah, oh, ah, oh, that's okay. Yeah, duh, yeah, yeah. I'm not moving. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uncle, uncle, right? Anyway, interesting story. Thanks to, um, again, Jim, uh, Jim over at um, Warmoth Strat for the video, the, the inspiration to do all the research for this. Very interesting stuff. Check out the, the, all the links that I put in the bottom there to all the photographs and information about these weapons. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. That's your new story for today. Tomoko is coming back tomorrow. I'm going to shoot some more videos. And we, we already got some unedited stuff, so keep coming back to the channel. You'll see some more news videos related news videos coming soon at you and i'll talk to you guys soon thanks for watching see you later